All right, all right. Welcome back to another V Rising video. We are going to go over the Legacy of Castlevania gameplay trailer that was just released about 10 hours ago. I wanted to go through this, break it down a little bit, as well as go over the actual DLC pack to show you what's inside of that. Just this is a little bit different of a video. Super excited about this. So let's go ahead and watch this video. It's just absolutely amazing. Seriously, people who were talking about Castlevania in this game coming together for a very long time, and uh, it's pretty crazy that it's actually happening. I mean, this is like, oh, this is like the greatest thing ever. It's so good. <laughs> I mean, look at that. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's go back. You see this? Look at this. I noticed this the second time I watched. So this is like the fifth time I watched this video, honestly. But I noticed the second time, I'm like, oh, no, I hate these things. If you played Castlevania, dude, if you know, you know. These things suck. They generally have tons of health, and they're so annoying. But, okay, we continue. The Bloody Tears remix is absolutely amazing. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. We saw something else. Sitting down? Dude, okay, listen. You guys, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I don't build crazy, insane castles all the time, but they are making it very hard for me to resist. Look how amazing this looks. I mean, ugh, I thought Gloom Rot was insane. This is next level crazy. Look at the pillars. Hold on, hold on. I just noticed that. Look at this. I just noticed this. I watched this. I watched this like five times. I just noticed these pillars. What the heck? They look so good. Look at these. That's crazy. Okay, sorry. Okay, amazing blood fountain. Love it. That's actually absolutely fantastic. Alucard, the legend himself. And there he is. I mean, come on, dude. The outfit. This is the other thing I saw. Maria. I was like, is that Maria Renard? <laughs> and it is. And there he is, the flea man. I hate those things. Skeleton mount, amazing. Okay, so look at this. First of all, th this is awesome. So if you don't know, you can actually do castles this high as it is in the game right now. Um, you just have to go into your settings and change your castle height to six. You can make it this high. Here's something I noticed though, is this tree underneath the bridge? Because if it is, I really want to know if that's something we can do in the patch because Dealing with trees underneath and saying, oh, sorry, you're being blocked by the environment and you're like three levels up is so obnoxious. So, okay. So also it's something I noticed. You can see these pillars are different. The spires are sick, but like these pillars are so cool looking. Look at that. Maybe there's the same pillars I saw inside, but it looks so nice. Here we go. Alucard wolf form here. And here he is. Belmont. Simon Belmont. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to mute this real quick. Let's go through this at quarter speed, this fight here. I'm going to break down what I saw in this fight. So, this right here, I'm not, I'm assuming this is actually one of his moves that he does in the middle of the game, or in the middle of the fight. So maybe like once he gets to like half HP or something, he'll like start doing this where he charges it up and just does a giant AoE. You can see that there's like flames that get left on the ground. See right here? Right over here? There's flames over this area right there. Okay. So he goes like this. Go in. Lots of fire. Rage of the Belmonts. So, okay. So look at this. Space Jam dunk. Boom. Okay. So first thing I noticed is he just strafed behind him and he was good. So that's good to know. We can, there's movement options to just avoid his stuff. All right. We start smacking him. Okay, so here's the whip. See the whip wind up here? He's spinning the whip. Okay, so this is something I'm noticing here. So I'm just sitting here. He just, sorry, he just dodged. So the the vampire here dodged, right? Okay, here's the dodge. But this is a different scene here. So he's attacking. There's no silhouette. He attacks to the left. Then he attacks to the right. Then the guy dashes. And he does this to get away, and then he attacks it down the center. So I'm thinking that's what the pattern is. So he, whenever he does the whip, I'm thinking the pattern is going to be attack on the left, attack on the right, down the center. This is my guess. So you, I, you could probably strafe to the right, strafe to the left, 
and maybe continue strafing to the left and dodge that completely. Not sure yet. All right, axe. So you want to dodge the axe, and then he does this mega dunk again. So he has the axe, which is pretty sick. So he jumps off here. I, I'm assuming he can't follow you. Also, by the way, this is happening inside the Coliseum area. That was the first thing I noticed, because this is in the Coliseum, like right over here. This area, whenever he rides in, this is the Coliseum here, see? So I'm curious if Simon is just in the Coliseum, which would be kind of cool, honestly, if you think about it. Okay. All right. Skip forward a little bit. Okay, so he jumps down here off the Coliseum. I seriously doubt he's going to follow you, but it would be cool if a boss actually were to follow you. <laughs> you know. Okay, so Holy Water, pretty sick. This looks like Tristan's uh, AoE here. It's like similar. Instead of uh, exploding in the air and then coming out, it explodes on the ground, then spreads. Then he has the boomerang, the cross boomerang, his big AoEs. Comes in, smacks him. It hit, hit it one, two, three at once. All right. And then it ends up with this. So it's hard for me to tell if he's invincible, but look, he takes a swing at him right there. So it's hard to tell if he's invincible in that phase, if you can, if you can, if you can shoot him while it's happening or not. But anyway, okay. So that is the trailer. Super excited for that. The music is absolutely fantastic. So. Now we're going to go over the actual Steam page here. So awesome screenshots. I mean, look how gorgeous this looks. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. Oh, that looks just great. It looks amazing. What is this? Is that a new chest? There's like a new chest. Uh, dude, the stained glass? Fantastic. By the way, I actually might start putting windows in my buildings. <laughs> Stupid skeleton, dude. Ugh. All right, we go through this, and all right, so we saw pretty much all that. Now let's go down and see what's actually in the pack itself. So we know that um, the ability to change the look of your armor, some people call it, you know, transmogging, whatever you want to call it, is coming to be rising. We know that's coming. So with that coming, I just, it's pretty cool because that means that they can actually start releasing more cosmetics like this. So blah, 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 Castlevania nostalgia. We love that. Premium pack contains five unique armor pieces with Alucard's regalia. So yes, we can look like Alucard with as a, man, a, man, a boy or a girl, right? Uh, using the new armor customization feature, you can don the garb of the Vampire Prince. All right, three unique shape-shifting form variants. So if you have uh, the Founders pack right now, you know you have like different wolf form and different bear forms. Same thing's coming here, different wolf form here. And then uh, this is human form. Maria is human form and then Frog form is going to be the flea man, which is hilarious. Honestly, that's hilarious. Like, well done, bravo, standing ovation for making the frog form of flea man. It's so funny. Okay, All right, that's so funny, dude. Uh, wall to wall Castlevania ambiance or ambience, whatever you want to say. Drape your walls and floors. That's what that's what all the pictures were. I mean, it just looks so good. Um, coffin throne. Wallpapers, floor pattern, gates, stairs, carpet, candelabra, glass window, glass window, blood fountain, and some paintings. On top of this, so you have all these different things. So yeah, you can see these crazy things right here. Let me zoom in on this. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Sorry, you just probably, probably should have zoomed in earlier. My bad. All right, we go here. Some statues. All these different statues here. It looks so good. And then a undead mount, so the new a new saddle. So the way it works with uh, the plague, uh, my brain's not working. The, the plague mount right now, the saddle you put on it uh, makes it you know look pretty cool. This is going to be a new saddle here to make give us a skeleton mount. And then some new hairstyles for those who really enjoy the hairstyles, four for girls and one for boys. Uh, it's funny I, when I saw this, I thought immediately I was like so numb to seeing. A majority of the hairstyles be for uh, girls, and, and then like the, the last one here being for like more, more like male oriented, right? I played PSO2, Fantasy Star Online 2, for so long, and the cosmetics in that game were like 90% female and 10% male. So it's like the funniest thing ever. I'm seeing this, I'm like, yeah, what do you know? <laughs> just like, I, I realized, I'm like, why am I not surprised that this is the case? And I realized I'm just desensitized to it. Anyway, um, and last thing here unlock Castlevania music tracks. 
Bloody Tears and Simon's Theme, reimagined by the legend himself. Alex or uh, legend herself. Alexandria? Yeah. Agoba. I can't wait. Dude, this is so good. And the music was amazing. I cannot wait for this. It's going to be fantastic. But anyway, that is that is what we have to look forward to, my friends. If you are interested in the legacy of Castlevania Premium Pack, you're not alone, because I am too. And this is already on my wish list. You can add it to your wish list now. Um, and keep in mind, again, this isn't sponsored or anything. I'm just excited and sharing all this with you guys. So anyway, that is going to be it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will catch you in the next one.